Hi guys, Dane here and today I wanted to talk to you really quickly about the Sunday Times Peters Frasers and Dunlop Young Writer of the Year Award. Now, as you'll know if you've been following me on social media recently, I'm sitting on the shadow panel for the awards, so myself representing socialbookshelves.com and there are some other great bloggers as well which I'll talk to you about in a minute. So our job is to read five books, the five shortlisted books for this year's award. Um, we'll choose, as bloggers, we'll choose our shadow award winner. And then that will be revealed and we'll also see, obviously, who wins the overall award as well. So although I haven't really got to start with the books, I've actually started reading two of them. So I've got three more to go and about three weeks to read it in, but it's fine, I'll get there. Um, but I wanted to show you the books, tell you a little bit about them, talk about the other people on the shadow panel and uh, let you know what's next. So let's get started by looking at the books. Now, I started with this one. This is uh, The Lucky Ones by Julianne Pacheco. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry, Julianne. And this is a collection of short stories. It's set in South America or somewhere. I've, to be honest, it's one of those ones. It reminds me of reading William Burroughs where it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a, it's almost like ethereal. You sort of, you're sort of watching these lives happen, but sort of drifting from one life to another and getting this kind of overall picture. But through the form of, I mean, it's about a dozen short stories or so. So I'm on, I think I'm on the third or the fourth short story so far. It's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying so far, uh, I'm this far in, and so far it's heading for a four out of five, and it's going to set a, a decent kind of benchmark for the others to try and beat. But could be a five out of five in here and I, I reckon there will be now this is one that um, I think most of the other people on the panel have started with and this is the Laura's by Sarah Taylor or Sarah Taylor um, again I, I just can't pronounce things you'd think I'd be able to I'm supposed to be good with words but anyway um, and this is a novel and it's a bit of a road trippy novel and yeah so far from what the other uh, panel members have said it sounds like this one's gonna be a good one um, but like I say I haven't started it yet the good thing about these two again is that they're reasonably short because there is, I'll show you this one, this is the third one. So this is Outlandish Night, The Byzantine Life of Stephen Runciman by uh, Minu Dinshaw. And so Stephen Runciman is kind of a, yeah, it says here he's uh, a, a, gr a great historian of the Crusades and Byzantium, grand orator of the Orthodox Church, member of the Order of Whirling Dervishes, Greek ast astronomer royal, and laird of, I can't, I'm not even gonna try and say that. Uh, yeah, so he's had kind of a fascinating life, but I can't tell you too much about this because I've decided I'm going to start reading this at night. I mean, it's a big old book with about 800 pages, and um, I read the introduction and about the first six pages, and then fell asleep last night. And uh, uh, there are two more, so I don't want to I don't want to go on for too long because I don't want this video to be forever. But this is The End of the Day by Claire North. So uh, yeah, she's the author of the first 15 lives of Harry August, which I think I've actually heard of. Charlie meets everyone, but only once. Sometimes he is sent as a courtesy, sometimes as a warning. Either way, it will be the most important meeting of your life. I want to quickly look at the publishers that are represented, because uh, yeah, so this is Faber and Faber, this last one. Uh, Faber and Faber also do the Lucky Ones. We've got Windmill, which publishes the Lauras. This is Alan Lane Publishing, which does Outlandish Night, and then Orbit does Claire North. His final book is Sally Rooney, Conversations with Friends. And um, I honestly, this is probably the one that I know the least about so far. I haven't even looked into it. Um, you can read it as a romantic comedy or you can read it as a feminist text. You can read it as a book about infidelity, about the pleasures and difficulties of intimacy, or about how our minds think about our bodies. So yeah, however you choose to read it, it is an unforgettable novel about the possibility of love. So cool. That there is the shortlist. It's actually the first year that they've had five books on the shortlist. It's always been four in the past, but um, you know, high quality. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes on my phone. Yes, yeah, so the overall winner of the prize, which is uh, again sponsored by Peters, Frasers and Dunlop, which is a literary agency. Um, by the way, I'm an author in case anybody's asking, you know, buy my books. Um, yes, yeah, so the overall winner of the prize, which is sponsored by Peters, Frasers and Dunlop, I suppose I should put hashtag ad somewhere in the description here because they sent me books for free. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's going to be £5,000 as the prize for the overall winner and then £400 to each of the four runners up. You can go and meet some of the authors. Um, I'm not going to list all the dates here, but if you just Google it, Young Writer of the Year Award shortlist or meet and greet or whatever you, whatever set of keywords you want to put in, um, you will be able to find some in. The prize began in 1991 when I was two, which is quite exciting to be involved. I can't remember when the winners, the winners are 
haven't announced actually. I want to say it's the 29th of November the winners for the uh, shadow panel are announced and then the overall winner of the award is announced at reception at the London Library on the 7th of December, okay? Put it in your diary. I'm just gonna read, this is from the bookseller.com if anyone's wondering, I'll leave the link below if I remember. So it says, for the second year running, the award will be chronicled by an official shadow judging panel made up of book bloggers Dank Bain from socialbookshelves.com, Rebecca Foster from bookishbeck.wordpress.com, Ella Franson, which is L thinks, E L L E thinks.wordpress.com, Annabelle Gaskell, which is shinynewbooks.co.uk, and also Gaskell A, G A S K E L L A, dot WordPress, dot com, and Claire Rowland, which is littleblogofbooks.com, that's L I T T L E B L O G O F B O O K S, dot C O M. Enter. So yeah, that's about all I've got for you at the moment. Um, check back on socialbookshelves.com often for, well I post all my reviews there so you'll get to see what I think of each of the books individually. And if you follow on Twitter the hashtag Young Writer Award Shadow, you can see all of our tweets about it and obviously you'll get to see who we pick as our winner. So yeah, check that out and I'll see you soon.